Hi, this is Chong Kim, and today we're going to do a word search generator. In a previous podcast, we created word search, so here's a version in Python, and we were able to run it like this, and it uh, gives us the solution, and the input file looked like this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create this grid. Uh, given a list of words, we're going to fill it in with uh, random letters. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin. We'll call this word search generator. We'll set this up so that when we save the file, it'll run it this way: Python word search generator. All right. So let's make sure that everything's set up right by printing hello. And we see that it prints hello, so everything's working. Okay, so uh, what we need is. Um, a few things. One is, uh, let me go to Python. Okay, one is uh, to be able to pick something at random. So if we import random, we can say random rand range from 0 through 9. And we see that, uh, let's create a whole bunch of these. So for i in a uh, range of one th uh, zero through um, 20. Okay. All right. So, so it looks like uh, it uses uh, the range the way this range works, which means that it doesn't include the, the last number. So for from zero through nine, it doesn't include the nine. Okay, we can check that again to make sure. Okay, so another thing that we need is to be able to select something. So uh, if you, uh, okay, first let's uh, take a look at um, import string. In string, there's a function called uppercase, and that returns all the uppercase letters. So if we take this string and pass it into random choice, we get a random letter from those capital letters. Okay, so if we take that and put it into a list um, for i in range from zero through um, ten, we'll have ten of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with the code. All right, so first thing we need to do is to create the grid. All right, so we'll set it to empty and we'll print it out. See that everything is working properly. And in here, we're gonna say uh, uh, string uppercase and we're gonna random choice of that. And, okay, and we have to import the string and import random. Okay, so we have a random letter and it's gonna be different. All right, and we need to loop through this uh, range from zero through um, the width. And we're gonna specify the width to be 12. Um, and the height is going to be 12 as well. All right, so right now let's see. Okay, so we, we end up with 12 letters. So this would be our row. It's probably better to say X range here. It, it, it would run the same way, but, but instead of creating a, a list as an interme intermediary. Uh, all right, so, okay. So now we have a row. And so we want to create um, all the rows. So we have a bunch. Okay, so as you can see, it's a list of a list, so a list of rows. So what we can do to print this out is to map, um, okay, okay, when we map it, uh, each element of the grid is going to be a row. So I'm just going to return the row, and this should just print it out the same way. So, and then we're going to modify this row. So um, we can we can join this by space 
So when we do that, it looks like this. So we have a row as a string. You can take that whole thing and join it uh, with a character turn, so now we have a grid. Okay, so do it again, and it's a, a grid of different letters. Okay, so now what we need is to be able to place a word in there. So let's say, for example, hello. Uh, capital letters. All right. So um, when we place it in there, it could also be in reversed. So let's go to back to Python, and if we have the word hello, and um, the way to reverse it is to do it this way, bracket, bracket um, colon, colon, negative one. So this means that uh, the start and end is the default, which is you know, the whole string. Negative one is a step, and you're going to do it in steps of negative one, meaning going in reverse. Okay, so we're going to say that um, word is a random choice between the word or the reverse of the word. Okay. All right. So, uh, so we need a place to put this, but we have a problem. The problem is if we have a grid that looks like like this, and we're trying to put the word hello. Uh, it works if you put it in the beginning because H E L L O. We have enough room to to write it. But if we pick the a, a space like here, if we do H E L, and we run out of space. So we have to make sure that when we pick the starting point, that uh, we we have enough room. So let's do that. So. Um, Let's say that the uh, x size is going to be the same thing as the width if the, oh, actually we have to pick the, um, actually, okay, it's going to be the width, it, uh, we have to pick a direction because we don't know if we're going to go across, down, or diagonally. So let's pick the direction first. So it's going to be random choice between uh, 1 comma 0 which means that you're going to the right uh, I, I'm, I'm just assuming that this is the X part and 0 comma 1 means you're going down and 1 comma 1 mean that you're gonna go diagonally okay so now that we have the direction you can say that for the X size if the first element of D which is the X part is equal to 0 that means that we're not moving to the right. If that's true, then that means that we could have the, the x size to be the whole width. So we can go from 0 through the whole width. Otherwise, we need to subtract it. So we need to subtract the length of the word. Okay. And we need to do the same thing for the y. It's height, and let's line this up. D1, otherwise height minus length of the word. Okay, so this is good. Let's line this up a little bit. Okay, so uh, so let's pick out where the x and y is going to be. So the x is going to be um, random, rand range. It's going to start from 0 through x size. y is going to be random, uh, rand range, 0 through y size. Okay, so we so now we have a starting point. So we all we need to do is just put the word into the grid. Uh, so I'm going to put the grid um, up here. Uh, okay, and uh, let's place it. So we need to loop through this um, from for i in. Uh, starting from zero through the length of the word, length of the word. Okay, and we're going to set the grid. So the first parameter, I mean, the grid is a list of a list. So the first index is going to be the 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 row. So this is the y part. 
So it'll be y plus the direction times i. And the x part is going to be x plus the direction of x times i. Okay. So that's going to be equal to um, the word, uh, the, the ith character of that word. Okay, so let's run this. Uh, oh, we need to get rid of all of this. Okay. All right, let's see. The first problem, uh, word search, it takes two arguments. Choice. Oh, it um, choice. So it's right here. So what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to give it one list. And it should be like this. Okay. So it's going to choose between these three in this list. Okay. All right, so let's look for, actually, uh, just to make things a little bit simpler, let's print out the x and y coordinates so we can, we can find it. 0, 2. So uh, x is 0 and 2, so 0, 1, 2. So here's O, and e, there's O, L, L, E, H. So you, you see that the word hello is, is right there. All right, so let's let's put this into a function. Um, okay, so we, we have this working, and uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it up here, and take all of this and just shift it over because we're going to write this as a function. And the function is uh, put word. And it's going to take the word and the grid. And it's going to return the grid. Here. Return grid. OK. So uh, let me, let's get rid of this doc string and this pass. OK, so it modifies the word, picks a random position, figures out uh, how much padding we need, gets the x, y position, and just sets the grid. Okay, this looks good. Uh, and then we need to, uh, this sets up the grid and um, let's put word hello. Actually, let's just say word here. Okay, do it like this and see, make sure that everything still runs. Uh, it takes two arguments. Oh, and it takes a grid and returns the grid. Okay, we run it and um, let's try to see if we can find uh, hello in here. Um, okay, let's just, let's also have this print out where it's located. So um, print x, y just to help us out. Okay, so uh, So one zero. Oh, here it is. Hello. O L L E H. Hello. So uh, let's put it through a bunch of words. So um, for word in hello there again and uh, let's see just oh, okay. Uh, that's this is good enough and. So a bunch of words, we're going to put it in and then print out the grid. Okay, so uh, this helps us. So we can see that uh, here's the word hello, three and nine. So uh, zero, one, two, three, nine is close to here. And there's the word there, and seven and one. So seven is about here, one. So again, it should be right here, A-G-A-I-N. So this is, um, Word Search Generator. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time.